Let's uh, head now to Sally Showman. She is at 26th and Dishman Micah, where we've saw uh, we've showed you some of those amazing pictures, Sally. It's just incredible watching the flames tonight. And as night has fallen, you can see the flames so much better and see the damage and how incredible it is. We've been here in this location for all night, really. We left and came back, and just in the last 45 minutes, I've watched as the fire has come down the hill. It's moving in a southwest uh, direction, but I would say it's about a mile away from me, and it's, it is inching closer. It's really interesting. You can see the orange glow there. Uh, some of the time you'll see an orange glow, and then a minute later, you know, about, I don't know, a, a half a mile down, down the way, you'll see another one, you know. I'm thinking sparks from that fire hopping along the tree line. It is just incredible. It's like an enormous candle bursting, and these trees, they go up, and they're gone, and they're out, you know, within a minute. Um, there are still neighbors out lining the streets. They're actually just sitting across the street from me just in amazement. Cannot believe this. And it's hard to, it's hard to tell what we're watching burn. I think most of the stuff that you're seeing right now at home is trees. We're really hoping and praying that it's trees. Um, but, you know, and it's eerie. If you just look at the moon tonight, it's an orange color and the smoke is still lingering. But, but luckily the, the winds have died down, at least for now. Back to you, Robin and Dave.